Hello, everybody. Um, so uh, we're still talking about the distillation column in the rigorous mode, and we um, have already shown how the uh, performance of the column uh, changes a lot by shifting from the shortcut to the rigorous column and uh, by defining these stage efficiencies. So um, now we need to kind of see what we can do to adjust the uh, parameters so that we can get the uh, desired output out of the column. Uh, so the thing or the um, place where we're going to find out where we uh, or, or where the, the output is uh, either close or far from what we are uh, interested in is going to be in the results um, here uh, of the column and it's in the split fraction and this is actually the th the place where we uh, want our output to be so this should be 0.992 and this should be 0.025 um, so from what I can see now uh, after defining the efficiencies it's clear that I'm far from the numbers that I, um, I I want to achieve and there are some parameters that I can play with like the reflux ratio the, like the distillate to feed fraction like the um, uh, number of stages so I, I kind of need to uh, change these parameters so that I can find the um, like the uh, suitable values that will achieve uh, what I want to achieve so to do this we have to go to the specification summary um, and here you can find the uh, parameters that I have already defined in the setup uh, uh, place where I can uh, I chose the reflux ratio and the distillate to feed ratio um, and here is uh, the summary of them so these are what it, it calls the primary specifications uh, the part in the bottom is kind of like what I uh, or what we did before in the design specs uh, when we went to the uh, flow sheeting options and in the design specs we uh, we can choose a parameter that I want to achieve and the other variables that I will, cha will change to achieve this value for this parameter so it's kind of similar to that but it's uh, specified to the distillation column um, so it's not like the other case that I can change a floor or a stream in in, uh, in a unit and adjust something in another unit. Uh, in this case, it's going to be um, related to just the distillation column. Uh, so here I can uh, this define the additional specifications and here I will define the adjusted variables. So for the, uh, the additional specifications, I would call the first the ethyl, ethyl benzene recovery. Um, and here you'll find a list of specs uh, like mole purities, which is the mole fraction or mass fraction. Um, you can find the mole flows, you can find mole ratios between uh, of, of one component in, in different streams. You can find a very long list of uh, parameters. The one I'm interested in is the mole recovery. Um, in the mole recovery, I can uh, specify the value to be 0.992 for uh, which component. So I'm interested in ethyl benzene in which stream in the top uh, in the top stream the top product uh, with respect to the uh, feed so uh, if i have more than one feed you will have the option to pick one of the multiple feeds that you have but in this case i have only one feed so i i i, I don't have other option uh, than choosing the uh, the feed uh, so now this is totally specified for this part and it's already it's already there um, now I can I can choose the adjusted variables um, and when I add one adjusted variable it's gonna be one trick here or it's one thing that you need to note um, is that you have different variables here and this is what I mentioned in the beginning you can choose the distillate flow rate you can choose the distillate rate I mean the distillate to feed ratio you can choose uh, anything so if I choose the distillate rate it's gonna give me a consistency error and this consistency error is because um, it, it says that the operating specification uh, as specified is type very uh, specification sheet, which is very specification sheet, must be specified in setup configuration sheet. So I have to make sure that what I have in the setup configuration sheet, which are these two, uh, I have to pick one of these two in this 
uh, adjusted variables here. So if I pick the distillate to feed ratio, it's going to be fine. Uh, I can pick uh, from any ratio. I, I used 0.58, so I can choose from 0.4 to 0 0.8, 0 0.9, whatever value that I want. And this is again one uh, nice thing about the uh, using the ratios. If I'm uh, if I use the fluoride, then I I must choose a value uh, which has a big range. But this is a very narrow range corresponding to a wide range in the fluoride. So uh, so for all the specification summary, I now see that I have told the software to change the um, distillate to feed ratio. Uh, so that I can adjust the ethyl benzene recovery to 0.992. Uh, so now I'm ready to run, and it's running the file. And now some numbers are are shown here. It told me that it's using 0.75 uh, and the calculated value for the ethyl benzene recovery is 0.992. So it has already achieved what I want to achieve. Um, so. Uh, one just to take a look at the uh, no it's not the efficiency at the results and just to confirm um, if I see the split fraction this is already 0.9 it's actually more than 0.992 because this is 0 0.0079 uh, but this is a disaster <laughs> I have I uh, instead of having 2.5 percent recovery I'm using 42 percent recovery or I got 42 percent recovery of uh, styrene monomer uh, and this this is too bad so I must make sure that I I can adjust this um, so what would come in my mind that I will uh, do this add one more specification and then add one more adjusted variable so that I can uh, adjust the styrene monomer so this additional specification is going to be the styrene monomer um, and the adjusted variable would be the second one, which is the reflux ratio, and, and this is all what I need to do. Uh, but there, there is something that you need to keep in mind, is that this is not a magical software. <laughs> it, it does calculations. And from the numbers that I see here, I, I see that I, I'm very far away from what I want to achieve. And to be able to achieve that, I have to increase the reflux, the reflux ratio uh, to a huge number and this is not going to be practical and it's not going to be realistic um, and and this is what we can see here at the, the 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 these two should be very very far from each other the the uh, the ethyl benzene should be 0.9 something and this styrene should be and this this is not this is the composition and and i have a lot of uh, styrene monomer here uh, which shouldn't be here so to be able to adjust this, I need to increase the number of stages. The reflux ratio will, will must be increased a lot, way more than what I need to, uh, or I, I, I must use, so that I can achieve this this jump in the ethyl benzene and this uh, decrease in the uh, styrene monomer concentration. Um, and this is expected because of the efficiency. So let's say I'm, I'm using uh, 100% efficiency, I, I got 41 stages and then I suddenly decrease this to 50%. So I should expect the, the number of stages to be doubled and this is this is what I, I should expect. So in the setup, I have to increase the number of stages. It's, it's not an option. If you try to do this by just changing the uh, reflux ratio, you will never be able to do this. Uh, I'm using 6, which is 1.5 the minimum, but the, by, by increasing the, the reflux ratio to like 10 or 12, you will still not be able to achieve that. So I, I'm gonna go for 75, and this I got this after many trials, by the way. So it's it's not uh, like uh, straightforward. Even with the design specs, I need to do some trials with the number of stages. So when we go for this uh, with the number or the the big number of stages, and we look at the um, the the split fraction, it's it's. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's much better than it was before. So I, I see uh, only 7.6 compared to 44 or 42%, I'm not sure what the number was. And the plot, you can see that there is a lot of improvement in the plot. Uh, I can see that the, the feed location is not the best one. It should be in the stage like 21, 22. So I'm gonna 
change it to 21 um, so that it the behavior of the column is better um, and again I'm running the file just to take a look at the plot um, still well we can, this is something that we can play with later but uh, but again for the results we see that it's it's even getting better so maybe it's worth changing um, the number the, the feed location I'm gonna make it like 55 um, and by running the file and looking at the results it's 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 again better um, and uh, the plot is looking better now I'm, I'm not gonna change it more uh, it seems that the as, as we put the feed in a better location or more uh, suitable location it the uh, the performance of the column in, improves um, but again back here to the summary this number was 75% or 0.75 before and now it's 0.6 so it means that I'm, I'm, I'm not putting a lot of a strain on the column uh, so, so that the column can, can perform uh, more efficiently uh, so now I can uh, add the styrene monomer recovery and for the design spec it's gonna be mole uh, recovery and for uh, the value it's gonna be 0.025 uh, for the components that I have it's gonna be styrene monomer for the top product related to the feed I'm gonna add one more variable which is the reflux ratio um, and the value would be I'm using six so I'm gonna start with six um, or, or maybe 5.5 up to 8 um, and now let's see uh, what uh, we are gonna get here so in the specification summary we have everything here and by running the file I expect that I'm not gonna get oh, I'm getting an error here even with these uh, with these inputs so I'm getting an error um, and this this is good that we saw this error and this error is telling us that the design specs is not satisfied because one or more manipulated variable is at its bound so it has already reached the maximum value and still um, it's it's uh, it's not achieving what you want to achieve so it's getting close it's 0.026 um, but it's it's not good enough uh, so maybe we can solve this or we have two options either to uh, increase the bound here to make it nine uh, but I personally don't do not recommend that because it's not recommended to increase the reflux ratio that much or to increase the number of stages to make it like 80 uh, one thing that that is helpful is to to see the uh, the plot of the stage or the composition uh, I, I will increase the feed location again because uh, because it doesn't seem to be entering in the right place so I'm gonna make it like 30 and I hope that this is good enough again it's not, it's not the value that we need again um, design spec iterations fail to converge so something about the conversion this this is uh, something that um, might happen because you are using the values from the previous run as the initial values for the current run so one nice thing that you can do is to reset the simulation so that it starts everything from the uh, very beginning and to run the simulation hopefully this will get the um, design spec to run without generating results and now it's it's solved uh, I have already achieved what I want um, the configurations uh, no I'm, I'm uh, uh, I want the um, the design specs where is it yeah here um, so now it's it's using 0.5857 uh, for the distillate to feed look ratio and 7.3 uh, as the uh, reflex ratio and here I have already achieved the values that that I want uh, for the recovery of ethyl benzene and styrene um, if you just rely on these two or on the uh, design specs without taking a look at uh, or considering 
the uh, changing number the number of stages you'll never be able to do it so just keep in mind that the the uh, the efficiency will affect the minimum number of stages uh, or, or will affect the number of stages that you need to, to use so uh, I, I usually do it as like a simple calculation with the fraction so I I'm, I'm, I have 50 percent efficiency so I, I divide 41 by 50 it should get 80 82 stages so this is the number of stages that I expect myself to use for such uh, for such a call so um, hope it helps and hope it's clear um, again there is one thing here that you, you that this software um, is, is made for chemical engineers so you have to uh, have good understanding and grasp of the concepts of the column or, or of the topic so that you understand how to play with the parameters it's not just clicking on mouses uh, or on buttons it, it depends on your understanding so uh, as long as you understand what you are doing uh, you'll be able to to, to figure out where the problem is and to know where the solution will be um, so I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video inshallah. Bye bye.